Welcome to Cover Calypso, where I force my co-recappers, Raven and Wing, to judge a book by its cover. This week we're doing Sweet Valley High number 26, Hostage, with an exclamation mark. Oh, I do love the exclamation marks. We haven't had an exclamation mark since Kidnapped. Untrue. We just had one a couple books Did we? ago. Yes. The crap, what was it? Crash landing. Yes, crash landing. Oh, oh, did it? I stand corrected. I'm sorry. I was so happy to see it. I remember. (laughs) Okay, well, the front cover is pale yellow. The text is a very, very deep navy blue. And on the front is a woman in a white shirt with a yellow sweater vest over the top, looking frightened and I want to say that she's holding her hand up to her chest, but as we've well established, this artist has real problems with arms, so it doesn't look like it's her arm. Anyway, behind her, there looks to be a man in jeans and a blue shirt holding a rag out towards her. So it's very reminiscent of what happened to Elizabeth in Kidnapped, except for this time, they actually paid for a male model to stand a bit closer. I was going to say, are we just revisiting Kidnapped, but this time with the brunette? And so, of course, since it's not a Wakefield, no one will care as much? Which... We could be. It, it could be that what's-his-face... Was it Carl? Yes, Carl. It was. This could actually be Carl getting out. Ooh. He could be, uh, you know, he could have escaped from prison. Ooh! And it could be, you know... Kidnapped to Electric Boogaloo. No wonder she looks so worried. That's actually a Wakefield. And as soon as he escaped from prison, she dyed her hair brunette and went to hide somewhere else. But he tracked her down anyway. <laughs> She's in the witness protection program. Yeah. Well, you're right. That's I mean, that. that is a very conservative outfit. So mm. it's definitely Liz if it is a Wakefield in hiding. Yeah. Although it hasn't got the wide face mm. of a Wakefield. Or the flat face of a Fowler. <laughs> Yeah, here's where we all have learned probably before this 26 plus book in that I have basically face blindness and even with drawings cannot tell if people look alike. So it, this goes really well for me when they say stuff like that. <laughs> now, there's a subtle difference between kidnap and hostage. Mm, it's true. I think this might be Lila Ooh. because I think hostage, um, hostage to me suggests that this person is being held for ransom. Mm-hmm. Rather, rather than from for Carl's weird sexual hair whatever, petting, hair petting and hand holding. Yeah. I think you're right. Um, so I, in seriousness, obviously we know that this headless person in the background is the evil operator because they're not showing the face. When it's a, one of the boys, will will show the face, but when it's someone with a you know malicious intent. Who is doing the hideous stuff? Then they just sort of show the looming presence. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I would like to point out is that that fucking index finger on the man's hand is—it's f- a fucked up. Time. Holy shit! It How is. How long is the first joint? It's ridiculous. Oh my god! It is. Oh my god! Yeah, it might be the devil. Fucked. Like, isn't it? Isn't that one of the things? Like the devil? Like your fingers and toes are the wrong length. Maybe it is. Jesus Christ. So maybe, maybe it's, it's the, the devil. devil. I also think it could be. Oh, I actually, as I say, I actually think it is Lila, and she's being kidnapped, and she's going to be held for ransom in a hostage situation. And obviously, the rag has got chloroform on it, and that's what it's going in front of the face to knock her out. However, it could also be quite innocent. Uh, she could be coughing, and it could be somebody behind her saying, "Oh, do you want a hanky, love?" <laughs> to, 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 to sort yourself out cover your mouth love we've just yeah. had a pandemic <laughs> yeah that's it yeah Put or we will like... in 25 yeah. years hey hold on yeah. they're in the u.s yeah. half the people here don't believe there was a pandemic <laughs> so true. you know <laughs> that's true he's just be honest excuse me miss um you know put your put your fucking latex fist down <laughs> and have yourself a bit of a a hanky to cough into. Oh, God. And then, and oh, you never know. Fight. The latex fist could be causing her to cough, that's like, true. you know, that's allergies true, yeah. and stuff. That's true. Latex so, is quite yeah. a common allergy. And that's... That's she, she... Go ahead. <laughs> she's, she's holding it by the elbow and she's just putting it in front of her mouth, like, <laughs> coughing into it. <laughs> and that's, that's not good. fear that's on her eyes. That's being <laughs> yeah. horrified that some plebeian reached out and touched her. How dare they? Yeah. Well, to be fair, with that finger, you could have reached out and touched him from another fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> True. 
true. Very true. <laughs> okay, so in reality, we have... That's Lila. She's being held to ransom. I think uh, uh, yeah, it could. To be fair, it could also be Regina because she's. Oh, that's fair. She, so. Probably Lila though. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I expected Lila's hair. When we've seen Lila in the past, her hair is a lot straighter and more chic, shall we say? Mm. Um, yeah. But so, so it, I, I'm maybe going to change it to Regina, but one of the rich girls, maybe Brooke, Brooke Dennis, or oh, sure. who knows? Brooke Dennis yeah. isn't at high, darling. I know. She I might know. have come back. Yeah, she was a co-pilot of uh, <laughs> Amy Sutton's dear Enid slaying plane. Dear God, I hope that people listen to every one of these because the, the inside <laughs> jokes are getting bad. It's just, just absolute scribble that we're coming up with. It's great. I've got to say, like this model, like I can't join in fully because I do know what's going on, but this model actually looks like a more grown-up version of Ellen Reitman's oh, fair. model oh. back in the day. Okay. Um. And I know it's Reitman to anyone who's never listened to the podcast, but I read it when I was like 10 and that's how I read it. And that's how we all say it. And I've infected everyone. So just learn to live with it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So I can't, I can't play cause I know what this is about. So, so are we happy with it's Lila slash Regina being held to ransom or it's a nice working class person approaching with a hanky but, uh, to a girl who's coughing. Sure. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Glad we got that sorted. Let's wrap it up. So thank you for listening and we'll see you next week for Cover Calypso. Bye.